2020 Chevy Equinox. We're going to mount this seat base in here. And we're doing the uh, rear facing for this. We're going to put a seat protector on the back of the seat to protect it. And that's sitting there. And we're going to mount the seat in the middle. Now, on the 2020 Equinox, right there, that little button, this right here, indicates where the mount is for the car seat. So there's one on both sides there. And let me see. Right down there, that metal thing. Let's see, can you see that right there? Let me see if I can shine the light. Position the light, hold the camera, and point right there. That metal bar. That's what we're aiming for. That's where we're gonna hook these uh, hooks on. And you see in there it has a little image of the car seat that needs to hook on there and the instructions tell you not to mount it this way to mount them with the hooks facing down and they go through the um, the blue straps there so let's see here if we can set up so I can see what's going on Any of the stuff that I have, I'll put uh, links in the description where I got them. Since there's no center headrest, this strap is supposed to go around the headrest. I'm going to run it back behind the seat and hook it into the um, tether for the larger car seat. So it, since it won't reach, hmm, I'm trying to figure out where I can put this. I know what I can do.
ended up doing there. Let's go over here. Back here, there's a gray handle. And you can see it right here. You press that in and it adjusts a lever down there. You can see the numbers in the side. There's a number there. And that adjusts the seat. The seat needs to be level. And that means that it's level on the side here. It tells you. So it tells you that it needs to be level. If it's in the green, that's the uh, the good way. So that's that. That's about it. I just need to pull the strap here to get this nice and snug because it's still kind of loose. That's pretty much it. The installation is done. All right. If you have any questions about where I got the uh, seat cover, um, I'll put that in the description. And the seat again is a um, Greco or Greco. That's the seat there. If you have any questions let me know also up here my wife has a um, belly belt if you want to see a video on that let me know I'll do a uh, installation video on that all right oh, that's pretty much it if you have any other questions let me know thanks for watching mistake in pointing out which one I was using. The instruction manual I use when I did the install in the Equinox was this one. This is for the same brand as you can see but this is the base only and this is what I will be installing in the Regal and there will be a video on that. Um, there are some slight differences between this one and this one. 
which this is the instruction manual for the one that I installed here in Equinox. And you can see the, uh, the base down there. And the other thing that I did with the back of the seat here for the headrest, where it's supposed to attach to the headrest, I ended up using some string there is back there so that holds it up so it doesn't move all right uh, other than that the seat is in it's all ready to go as you can see all right oh if you have any questions let me know leave them in the comments and of course it's grass cutting day so my neighbor is to come out and cut grass but that's another story for another day. If you have any questions, let me know. But this was the install for this seat in the Equinox, the Snug, uh, Snug Ride 35 Lite DLX. This actually comes with the seat and the base. All right, thanks for watching.